Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. Now, before I start this challenge, I just want to say Merry Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. And in the spirit of Christmas, I have the Christmas Challenge, which is you must bring all family members spending time with the fam, only 25 days to scavenge for gifts, no violence at all, no killing rodents, roaches, rats, or any people, including raiders. If any event asks for an item, you must give them one of the items as a gift. You must open any suitcase on the doorstep, like unwrapping a present. And all family members must survive to complete the challenge. Getting pancake is optional. So I have to bring all family members. I'm not limited to any items that I can get, you know, during the 60 seconds when I scavenge. Once it all starts, I only have 25 days to get all the items I need. Try to get rescue with the whole family. Let's do this, guys. Okay, so for this challenge, I did think about some of the items that I want to get. And there ain't shit in this room. There's a flashlight? It's more like a fleshlight. What's it doing on the bed? It's like the only thing in the room. Whatever. Get that flashlight so I can get pancake later. Get this and get that. Perfect. I got three good items that I need. Uh, map two. Ooh, look at that. Four items in my hands right now that I need. And then let's get her, that, and one food. That'll feed us for five days. Boom! Well, it'll feed us once every five days. That's what I'm trying to say. Anything good in here? Damn it, there ain't shit in here. God, I wasted my time, guys! All right, come on. Time is very valuable. Get the gas mask. Get that. Get that. Shit, I need the family, too. I can't forget them. Whatever. Get her. Yes. Cool. God damn, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna get all the things that I need. Go, 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 go. Padlock. And then water. Shit! Come on, move! Okay, come on, I can get one more. I can get one more food. Fuck, I can't! Oh, turn my fat ass around! Oh, God, I didn't want to risk it. I was gonna get that food, and then I saw the time, and I did a 180. I was like, nope. Fuck that. Let the Christmas challenge begin. Hopefully, I got enough good items. I don't know. I wrote down like a mini list right here, but I don't think I got everything that I needed. Yeah, I didn't even get that much food. Holy shit. Well, I do have 25 days to scavenge, so I better get my ass to scavenging. And I'm going to give them water and food every five days. I only have two cans of soup, so that'll last about 10 days. And random notes. Okay, so I do need to get every single family member out to live. So, pancake is optional. If somebody gets sick, I'm not going to save the med kit for pancake like I always do. I am going to use it on one of the family members. Oh, wait. Let me prepare to scavenge. And we woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like, like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed some movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in this bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss around here. Well... In the spirit of Christmas, I cannot kill anybody, so I would have to decline that axe to somebody's face. So if somebody decides to steal something, then I have no choice. And I think somebody stole something, right? Yeah. As we were running around looking for something to smash the furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that devil fit through one of those little holes? Getting something to drink for Mary Jane seems like a good idea. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. There has to be some water left for Dolores, and Ted needs water to survive. Okay, so they jacked our food. What we're gonna do, we are gonna send out little Timmy. He's the real MVP. Whoops, I accidentally went over the gas mask. Give him the gas mask. Give him, there you go. Okay, Timmy is gonna go out. Hopefully he brings back more food. I don't give a shit if he brings back, you know, any other item. Just please bring back some food, maybe one water. And Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Dolores will not survive without any water. Ted has one foot in the grave. One more day, guys, I promise. What was that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh, God, it's a quake! Grab something and hold on! I'm gonna pick the radio. More important than the flashlight. The only reason I grabbed the flashlight anyway was for pancake. So I guess I'm not getting pancake unless we can fix the flashlight. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and a daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and it got smashed. Something else might be broken, but we won't know until we've cleaned the place up. Mary Jane keeps fanning, Dolores not survived that water, yada yada yada, give them some of that. And now they're gonna feel a little bit better. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for an antique cup, 
but they'd got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Well, we do have one. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. They gave us a gun, but we're not even gonna be able to use it, unless we want to give it as a gift to somebody. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted said there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Alright, you better be okay, motherfucker. We always steered away from casinos, gambling, and dens and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us that he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Okay, um, I think I am going to take him up on this offer because I am confident in our card skills. We can get a little bit more water from this loser. Yeah? No! He just won and he, uh, spread our butt cheeks and just went BAM! BAM! Damn it! The man must have cheated. We lost and before we could argue about it, the man left with our supplies. Man, fuck that guy! Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Everything seems okay with Dolores. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Good, that's what I like to hear. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Yeah, so many events have happened in just one week. This is terrible, we can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside of the thin sheltered doors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since the flashlight's broken, I will use the med kit for you guys. Timmy came back. Thank you. What did you bring back? He brought back a new flashlight. Wow, cool. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Brought back the gas mask. And what else? One food. One ammo, one flashlight, hell to the yes, Timmy. I love you so much, boy. And I forgot to give you some of that. And scavenge again because we only have 15 more days. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If we only had a chance to tune into some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. Yes. Then we could know if we need to bring the gas mask outside when we scavenge because, you know, we can know if the fallout outside is gone. Stuff like that. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone! It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Yay! There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted seems to be doing alright. Even though the world has gone to shh crappy place. <laughs> Come on, just say it. Nothing's wrong with cussing, okay? We were feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is to choose the right person to go outside. You know what? One kid did great. Hopefully the other kid does some good. We're gonna give her... No, you know what? We can't give her any weapons. No, let's just cut that out. Because in the spirit of Christmas, no violence at all. If she finds something, she finds something. She doesn't need the gun to, you know, do any harm to anybody as she's scavenging. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy is very hungry. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay that way. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Okay, I don't have that much time to scavenge. I only have 13 more days, so hopefully she comes back soon because we definitely need all the supplies because we're never going to be able to go outside again. We're about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? Uh, huh. I don't like the sound of that. I don't think I need to open the door for anybody. I mean, I know this is the Christmas challenge and you're supposed to, you know, welcome people with open arms, but, uh, huh. <laughs> you know, in the spirit of Christmas, you would let people in, you know, some people are less fortunate than others. So we are just going to hope that this guy doesn't fuck us in the ass, please. Okay. Nothing happened. Good. We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters making jokes even after the apocalypse! Timmy is very hungry. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Water is all Dolores wants. Where is water when Ted needs it? Two more days, you crazy cats. All right, it's day 15. Time to give them some of the goodies. And the first aid kit we have is useless. We probably won't be able to fill it with prescription meds from a drugstore, so we need to take matters into our own hands. Here's an idea. Let's use this innocent-looking bug spray to create life-saving drugs. Yes! 
That is exactly why I brought the bug spray down. I wrote it down here. Things that I need to grab the bug spray because I want to make another med kit. And I'm so glad we made it within two weeks. And there you go. We have another one. Bada bing, bada boom. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores is fine and well. This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Well, where the hell's Mary Jane? She needs to hurry up. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed the hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Because maybe they'll get sick in the long run and removing the problem now will just make for a good time and Mary Jane is back. Yes, thank you. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Yeah, we got one can of soup. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. What did you bring, girl? Two water, two food. And a suitcase. Not bad. Not bad, girl. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. She needs to eat and drink because she didn't eat and drink yet. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, because the ringing is the trigger to get the twin ending. Or it might be some bullshit telemarketer and then we got prank called. So let's see what it was. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as a survivor from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging info when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us soon. Yes! We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy should eat something. Dolores is not eating. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Two more days, guys. I promise you. And speaking of that, we gotta scavenge real quick because we're probably only gonna have... This is probably going to be the last time we have to scavenge, so... I, I don't know. I think I'm going to send out Ted. Because he might be the real MVP this time. Let's see. Um, let's make sure we give him some of that. Because he's going to be gone for a while. Ted, bring the suitcase. Bring the suitcase, boy. And then you're going to bring the map. So, you know, you bring back some good shit. Okay, please. Come back. Please be some good luck, Ted. Please. We need your items to survive. If you don't come back, I'm going to be so pissed because that's going to end the challenge. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy should eat something. Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted left for the surface. And give them some of that. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Yes. Listen to some tunes. God, Mary Jane looks like absolute shit. Ooh, I can't even imagine what she smells like. Ooh, would not want to be next to her. No wonder Timmy's looking the other way. Ah, oh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to music. They still play music out there, don't they? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Timmy should eat something. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores has not eaten for a while? I just fed you yesterday, you fat fuck! Day 22. There's never a good time to go onto the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it'd be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside. Before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors, an unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. Oh, it's Pancake! Wait, should I get him? Hold on. I have two, two and a fourth of the water. Oh, man. Oh, boy. That's gonna be tough. You know what? YOLO BITCHES I WANT PANCAKE <laughs> I WANT HIM SO BAD I LOVE PANCAKE SO MUCH Oh shit Ted's back What'd you bring back Teddy? Uh, Shit Two waters No map And that's it Fuck Okay Well It's before 25 days So I'm gonna have them scavenge one last time That's gonna be the very last time Actually you know what Oh god I don't know what to do This is gonna be so tough this is gonna be real tough. Uh, the state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, YOLO. Okay, uh, you know what? We're gonna prepare. And since it's gonna be Christmas Eve in this game, the 24th, this is gonna be our last time scavenging. And I don't know, I don't know. I have a fear that someone's not coming back if I do this. But you know what? I'm gonna send out Timmy. He did good. So, Timmy, you're gonna go outside. And you know what? You're not gonna bring anything. Screw this. 
if you don't come back with something, this challenge is over. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be a bold decision. Please come back, Timmy. Just please come back. Because we're not gonna survive on that that much food. We're really not. Alright, day 25. Merry Christmas! What the fuck? Ten mil! <laughs> Ted died on Christmas Day. That is the most horrible gift to Dolores and Mary Jane. And honestly seems like they gave two shits about what's going on right now. Alright, we have to restart this challenge because Ted died. You have to have all members survive for, you know, me to win this challenge. So let's redo that. Alright guys, this is my second go around of the Christmas challenge. Every scenario and event that happened in last challenge, most of them are in play for this challenge. Even Pancake, and Pancake's actually back. It says, when we heard barking, we were all at the door at a moment's notice. This time we were right, it was Pancake. He had come back but wasn't willing to enter. Instead, he seemed very anxious to lead us somewhere. Should we grab any gear before we head out? Yes, the map is always the best choice to, you know, rescuing Pancake. If you use the gun or the ax, it's usually something different and I don't want to try it just to show you guys the map is the best choice. And yeah, we scavenged and we brought back three cans of food. Fuck yeah. Okay, now it's time to feed them some what's up, some soup. And nobody's going out anymore because it's after 25 days. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. Okay, so in spirit of the Christmas challenge, I am not allowed to kill anything, even insects, so sorry these roaches are going to have to live with us in the shelter. We're going to have to make room for them, even though it's going to suck. And I see one cockroach right by Timmy's leg. Yuck! A mutant cockroach. Yes, that's what I usually say when I see Mary Jane. Oh my! That thing is huge! That's what she said. And there goes another one! Roaches everywhere! We're doomed! We already feel all dirty! Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy should eat something. Mary Jane contracted an illness? What the fuck? Let me see. Oh, nasty little hoe! Everything seems okay with Dolores. This morning has been calm for Ted, and he's doing well. Alright, well, you know what? You know what we're gonna have to do? We're just gonna have to get Pancake first, and then we'll heal Mary Jane. I know, I know, guys. I'm making a bad decision, but I have to do what I have to do. Nobody's going out. And the siblings have visited us today. They told us they're searching the town for a safe place that would do well as a possible camp. So far, their group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned that a map of the neighborhood could be very helpful in this situation. Okay, the twins need a map. I got your back like chiroprac, twins. We are gonna get rescued. I feel good. I'm just worried about Mary Jane. We're gonna keep up with her situation. I'm gonna make sure I read all the notes. We were happy to see them again. We quickly handed them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight, but they said they would definitely be back to share some news and a friendly chat. We hope they find a good place. Maybe they visit. Maybe we could visit them again when the camp is ready. Mary Jane could use a little food. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now he could use some water. Water is what Dolores needs. Okay, okay, everybody's good. They just need water. Day 34. It seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. Well, I guess we're getting overrun, son, because I can't kill any cockroach. We're all gonna have to celebrate Christmas with all the cockroaches. And there's only one still, with his little radioactive goo on his back. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. Hardy har har. Okay, let's give them some of that. Uh, nobody's going outside. And Pancake is out there. Yes, let's get Pancake. Everybody, welcome Pancake back to the shelter. There you are, you cute little dog. Pancake has a big ass head. He looks twice as big as Timmy. It took a while, but we were able to patch Pancake up. We're not letting him go this time. Do you know what love is? We sure know. Loving your dog. Exactly. Okay, let's see if Mary Jane's okay. Alright, good. I think we can get Mary Jane to survive until the twins come. But hopefully we can turn the poison into medicine again and then heal Mary Jane. I just don't want her to die. She looks completely horrible. But I wanted Pancake so bad. I know some of you guys are going to be like, Man, fuck Pancake. Let Mary Jane die so you can beat this challenge. But I want Pancake, okay? 
We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. Man, fuck those roaches! I'm not doing anything about them! Just let them come inside the shelter, alright? If they want to hang out here, then they can hang out here. Oh shit, Timmy's sick too. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Well, man the fuck up, Timmy. What's going on with you, man? You're supposed to be a boy. Or a man. Or you're supposed to, like, grow up into a man. We never felt weird, but today we had to revisit the term. It seemed that our little green pests, guests, are trying to communicate with us. One of them was even holding something that resembled a sign, which read, U come in pes. <laughs> what on earth do they mean? <laughs> oh shit, wait, I'm not supposed to do anything to those guys. Whoops, I was about to smash them with a Boy Scout book. U come in pes. That's what they're trying to say. Did they leave? Talking to the product of your imagination is one thing, but talking to roaches? Come on, we're better than that, aren't we? Mary Jane's hungry, Mary Jane needs something to eat, Timmy is in terrible shape. Okay, I'm just making sure they're not like sick to the point where they're about to die. One more day and I'll give them all water and soup. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck? If that's the case, we need to look into fixing it right away. Yeah, let's use the Boy Scout book. Hopefully nobody else gets sick. Please. I can't handle that. Yeah, yeah right as soon as I said that, Ted gets sick. Perfect! Yeah! Okay, give them some of that. As, I mean, as long as Pancake's alright and Dolores is okay, I think we'll be alright. But damn, three out of four family members are sick? That is not good. This is not gonna end well. Hopefully the twins can rescue us soon. Mary Jane's hungry, Timmy seems okay, Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. But that means he will recover from it soon, right? Right? We felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least, it looks like a rat. A rat on a very good diet. We decided we need to do something about it. Or to put it more bluntly, it's either him or us. Well, I guess it's him, since I'm not allowed to kill him. So do whatever you want, rat. Just take Mary Jane if you're gonna take anybody. But I'm pretty sure he just took the food. Yep, he took the food. Mary Jane is still sick. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Good! That's exactly what I want to hear. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Oh boy. The siblings are back with their group to announce that their camp has been finished. They are attempting to make living there as enjoyable as possible, and they have one problem. They're children. The older ones can be trained to help in scouting or guarding the base, but the youngsters get bored really fast. The group has been going through the rubble, looking for toys and games that would keep kids occupied and happy. Okay, we'll give them anything they want, as long as they can rescue us before anybody dies. Please. Nobody die. Uh, I'm like, I'm like playing with fire right now. Three out of four uh, family members are like in pain. This sucks. Even playing with an incomplete set of checkers is a better choice for these kids than playing hide and seek in the radioactive wasteland. Or maybe the other way around. The group was grateful and we're sure their children will be too. We hope to see our friends again soon and find out more about their new camp life. Mary Jane is thirsty. Some water with Timmy would be nice. Dolores has to drink sometime. Where is water when Ted needs it? Timmy has been talking about going out to the surface to explore, run, dance, and play with whatever burnt remains can be found. We would gladly jump at the chance to get him some fresh air, though we are worried the exposure to radioactivity out there will effectively ruin his fun by turning him into a terrifying mutant. Should we let Timmy out? No. No. That's not good. Hopefully he doesn't try to escape. If he tries to escape... Okay, good. He's just crazy. That's fine. I'll take crazy. I just can't take you leaving. We had to say no. What else could we do? It's dangerous and Timmy's sad puppy eyes aren't enough to convince us. And no, chewing your own foot is not a convincing argument either. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Timmy was driven crazy. Ted has one foot in the grave. Alright, we're fine. The trash can's becoming full of empty soup cans. Oh my god, more roaches? Really? God, can these roaches go away? Why do they want to be with us so damn bad? I don't get that. This is crazy. And now there's two roaches! Whatever. Okay. We're gonna give them food and water because that's what we need to do. Wait, let me make sure they're not sick or like on the verge of death. Okay, good. As long as that's good, then we're fine. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's so many things going on right now. Look at this. Everybody looks like shit. Even Dolores is sick. Okay. Nobody's on the verge of death, so we're fine. But, come on, can the twins hurry up and save us? Because we're not going to last long with all this shit going on. Please. Fuck! 
Mary Jane left. Are you kidding me? There's just... It's so hard to beat this challenge with all the family members. When Mary Jane's sickness got worse and we weren't able to provide her with medicine, she decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never even liked our town to begin with. Well, fuck you, Mary Jane. Oh my god, like how are we gonna do this? You know what, I'm just gonna see this to the end and we're gonna see how far this family can go. All three of them are sick anyway. Pancake's the only one smiling. He's the only one worth the damn, you know, saving. But whatever. We're gonna try to beat this. And hopefully the twins can get back to us soon. Come on. All right, it's day 50. Time to give us some of this. And we could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in a rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? Nope. Sorry. Can't do any of that. Because, you know, after 25 days, we should have luck. You know, you gotta survive with all the items that you have. We decided against going for an inspection of the tank. For all we know, it might be a trap or simply a burnout wreck. Not worth our time and effort. Okay, none of them are sick. Wait, if we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. Aw, oh, crap. He doesn't even look that sick. He looks the least sick out of all of them. It turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches because those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or we'll end up in a full-blown infestation. No! These cockroaches can celebrate Christmas in our home just as much as we can, alright? So just cut it out! Cockroaches can live here. Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here, we're here. Let's make the best of it. They're only cockroaches after all. Timmy needs an extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. Aw, oh, damn it. Dolores' health has not improved. This morning has been calm for Ted. Great. These twins are not coming up. Someone is at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they've been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news. Maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? Let's see. Maybe it's the twins. Maybe it's not. Either way... Yes! Hell yeah! The twins came, baby! That's what I'm talking about! We were ecstatic when our friends came over today to officially invite us to their new camp. The siblings said that they are incredibly grateful for all the help and assistance we provided. They claimed the whole thing wouldn't be possible without us. They swear they already made a separate house for us, all furnished and with some of our own supplies, and there are plenty of families waiting to meet us there. We can't wait to be between people again. Maybe the world isn't as bad as it looks. We can't wait to start our new, more peaceful and normal life. Goodbye, little shelter. You have been our home for a long time, but today it's time to move on and the future is looking really bright. We held out for 53 days. I can't believe that we survived with three out of the four members. And we got Pancake, so we survived with four people. I mean, but Mary Jane was being a little baby bag bitch. We did survive. We didn't exactly complete the challenge the as you know specific as the challenge wanted to be. But we got rescued, and this time we grabbed Pancake, so I'm happy about that. You know, this Christmas challenge was just to be in the spirit of the holidays. It wasn't meant to be taken too seriously. We did get rescued, so it's pretty successful in my book. But yeah, Mary Jane, somewhere out there, let's just pretend she's happy and doing things on her own. But if you guys want me to try any more unique challenges, make sure you put them in the comments below. I do want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. If you do not celebrate Christmas, I just want to wish you all a happy and safe holidays. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!